It's the summer holidays in Australia, so what would you do apart from talk end assemblies? I've got the safety boots on, I've got the work shorts on. Pete, how are you, mate? Thanks, Enjoying Tim. the summer sun? Yes, yeah, yeah. Mate, we've been playing with fence end assemblies all day, and yeah. we've had a generic steel end assembly, and we've had one of your concrete stay blocks, and we've been talking surface area and flat to the ground in terms of strength for end assemblies. And we've done a little bit of a test here. Can you talk us through a little bit about what the importance of surface area is when you're talking about a floating end assembly? Surface area is king. <laughs> now, we've had a little bit of a play with plates that have almost the same surface area as yours, yeah. but they're, di they're digging down a little bit when we do them up, and to demonstrate that, you've used a cushion. Can you talk us through what we did? Well, what we did is put the cushion under the plate and uh, tightened it up, and we can see where the load's going. So it's moving from the middle of the plate to the back, so that means you've got half the, the surface area that you really think you have. So because the plate's moving like that in the ground, yes. what we're actually doing is creating a wedge rather than a flat surface area to transfer all the load. That's right. What happens is that the end assembly takes a couple of years to fail, you know, maybe three years. You go through a couple of wet seasons and next minute your end assembly's leaning over and you go, what's this about? Well, it's because the load on the plate is not equal. So we've set up a generic steel end assembly. doesn't matter whose it is. No. Um, and we've set that up on top of a cushion yeah. and we've done it up. And then we set up one of your concrete end assemblies. Now you've got a plug that actually rotates inside the top of the concrete end assembly and that's designed to allow it to stay flat to the ground? That's right, it just follows the ground wherever it is but the load at the front is the same as the load on the back. It's unbiased because the plug is connected to the stay, the attachment points are connected to the stay, not the plate. When you put your attachment point on the stay it becomes rigid and when you tighten them up the load goes to the front or the back. So it's really important when people are buying a floating end assembly kit that they buy a kit that transfers the load down the center of the stay tube That's right. and that allows the plate to actually move independently from the diagonal to, stay. To rock freely. So it doesn't matter what they get, make sure they get those two features. That's right. Well, Pete, we've solved all the problems in the world. I reckon I need to go to the beach now. What do you reckon? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, like and subscribe. See you next year for more great content.